The C-Corp project uh, stands for Sexual Core Reproduction. Corals in general are, are easy to reproduce asexually. So they reproduce by, you can break them, you can smash them, all sorts of ways you can reproduce asexually. Uh, but to get them to reproduce sexually is, is much, much more difficult. They only reproduce sexually once a year. The salinity and temperature and lunar cycles and temperature cycles that kind of all make them come together uh, to reproduce at once. So to get them to do, re uh, do that in captivity is very difficult to do. Um, in 2006, what we ended up doing was uh, starting a project out in Puerto Rico. We're working with the endangered coral called uh, Acropora palmata, which is the elkhorn coral. And elkhorn coral is a coral that used to be very ubiquitous down in the Caribbean, it used to be everywhere. Uh, in about 1980s, uh, started to decline, and now it's about 95% gone. Uh, it's a kind of a keystone species. It grows very shallow, uh, acts as a great wave breaker, great habitat for fish. It's one of the first corals that has ever been listed on the Endangered Species Act. These corals spawn in August. They spawn uh, three days after the full moon in August at about 9.20 p.m. So what we do is we have a whole group of people that goes down, when they spawn, we collect the eggs and the gametes, take them back uh, to the lab, fertilize them, and then, and then uh, raise them up. Uh, we can take that technology that we've learned and spread it around the Caribbean so we can have labs in Belize and labs in the Bahamas. and. Uh, use that same technology to repopulate those reefs too.